Hello everybody, today's Saturday, June 20th, 2020, 4.15 p.m. It is 82 degrees Fahrenheit, 28 degrees Celsius. I am in Jersey City right now, in the area of Newport. This is the intersection of Washington Boulevard and 14th Street in Jersey City. Today I'll be walking the Jersey City waterfront area. I roll my bicycle here all the way from Astoria all the way to Upper Manhattan across the George Washington Bridge down the waterfront to Jersey City. Here's my bicycle. I did it all in this. It took about three hours or so. But now we're going to do a walk along the waterfront. I could have taken the train, but I wanted to get some exercise in and also get some cycling footage. It's an interesting um, way to come. But this is the first time that I visited New Jersey since COVID-19 became a problem here in the New York City area. I like to see how the Jersey City residents are coping with COVID-19 now. When I was on my way here, I saw a lot of um, waterfront properties, a lot of restaurants. They had their outdoor tables all set up and people were just flocking to them having their meals and enjoying the dining outside so if you do want to go outside for a outdoor dining experience and you can't do it in new york city because it's not legal yet you can cross the river over to the other side to jersey city and enjoy a meal outside i saw so many people enjoying that today here is a uh, strip mall Models, which is closing and staples over there I don't know how my um, cell phone service will be in Jersey City especially by the waterfront cell phone signals along waterfront areas can be spotty sometimes but I hope that's not the case here Actually, what I want to do is um, get rid of these pants cuffs that I have on my jeans. It's uncomfortable to walk with them on, but I do need them on when I'm cycling to get my pants not caught in the chains. toss this in here all right let's check out New Jersey or if you want to say it the TV way by the way here's New Jersey's transportation system the light rail if you want to see it the Jersey way you say it New Jersey New Jersey I'm in New Jersey now. I'm trying to imitate that accent, but I don't think I'm doing it too well. Johanna, yes, I'm in Jersey City. Uh, I Prince 07 saying can I do the 0.5 wide camera lens on the iPhone live or the YouTube live um, I don't think there's an option for that from the YouTube app it just defaults to whatever camera setting it decides to
Yes, I'm in Jersey City right now, Jonathan. Just to change it up a little bit, I've been live streaming all along New York City for a while. And today I was like, let me ride my bicycle over to Jersey City, see how it's like now. Yeah, B. Griffin, absolutely right. There's a lot less people here in Jersey City. It's amazing what crossing over to the other side of the river does. Look at this. Even on the sidewalk here, there's social distancing stickers. But the route I took, I saw a lot of people asking about my route. I took the Queensboro Bridge through Central Park to 110th Street, through Riverside Drive, up to 145th Street, then up Broadway to Fort Washington um, Avenue, and then over the George Washington Bridge down River Road, and then I took the Hudson River uh, Waterfront Walkway all the way to Hoboken and Jersey City. Yep, that's the only way to come by land. You gotta go north and then go back down south. There's no way to bike through the tunnels, through the Lincoln or Holland tunnels. There's a uh, Sichuan and Hunan cuisine restaurant across the street. That's a Chinese restaurant. I don't see anybody there though. I do wish that New York State and New York City can come to an agreement and make a pedestrian bridge that connects Midtown Manhattan or Lower Manhattan to New Jersey. It would make it so much easier. All right. Some person is not paying attention or doesn't want to make the left turn. What I will uh, remark about Jersey City though and Hoboken, there's a lot of new bike lanes. I haven't um, seen these new bike lanes since the last time I've been here. Jack Zwick said I should have done the Mitsuwa market. I was there. I actually have never been there, but I went through its parking lot and I filmed the outside. There were a lot of people outside Mitsuwa today around the building and around the back as well. But for those of you who don't know, the Mitsuo Market is the Japanese supermarket that's very popular in the area. But there's only really one location and they have to go through New Jersey to go there. It's a beautiful day out today, although a little bit warm. Joe was saying, uh, was this trip planned or was it a last minute thing? Um, it was kind of like on the spot. I was like, you know what? I want to take my bike somewhere. And I was thinking of places to go, but I decided on Jersey City. Let's go by the waterfront now. There really isn't much here because this is kind of like the uh, commercial area. There's a Club Metro USA here and Chipotle Mexican Grill. Chipotle is open though. I see people in there. Yeah, Jersey City. Um, compared to New York City is a lot less dense and it's only separated by the water but the reason why that is is because of a lot of issues. Some of it has to do with transportation costs. People don't want to cross the tunnel and pay a toll in order to move between two states or pay for two train tickets. And also um, there's not as much opportunity here as in New York City. So people, they kind of have this stigma that New York City has all the jobs and has all the activity and they really don't want to be in 
Jersey City or be associated with New Jersey because they want to be where all that activity is. And another, another reason why people don't like to live in Jersey City and then commute to New York City is because of tax reasons. Taxes, you have to pay taxes to two different states if you work in New York City and you live in Jersey City. I know many people who hate that. On their paycheck, they see New, New Jersey uh, tax and then New York City tax and then New York State tax. You get so much tax out of your paycheck. Yeah, the PATH train is still $2.75. Roof's Chris Steakhouse. They have outdoor tables, but no chairs there. Yeah, Azure, the tax is a killer. I mean, you do get part of the tax back when you file for your income taxes, but you do have to wait for that to happen. And no one really likes waiting for that. People want their money right now. They don't want to have the tax taken out right then and there. Bureau Killer is saying, have I seen the new skyscrapers under construction in Jersey City? Uh, we might see them today. Here's um, the town square shops and restaurants, leasing office, Newport Path, and the Hudson Riverfront walkway to the left. I'll go there after I cross this street. I want to show you um, here. Look at this. By the way, if you uh, do want to travel to this area, New York City area, you can stay in Jersey City. It's a little bit uh, less expensive than staying at a hotel in New York City generally. You see there's a restaurant here, Fire Oak by South City, open for curbside pickup and delivery, but now they have outdoor seating. So just by hopping across the river, you can enjoy a meal if you don't want to wait till Monday. Me, Colin, saying glad to see this part of New York. Well. It's not part of New York, it's part of the area, but it's close enough. A lot of people don't like to come here because they don't want to pay the extra transportation costs to visit. But it's close enough. James likes going to Sandy Hook. Yeah, Sandy Hook is a interesting area haven't been there though all right let's go to the waterfront now i think a lot of people want to be interested in the skyline the jersey city skyline yeah scott um is mentioning about hoboken i rode my bike through there hoboken Hoboken was very active, much more than Jersey City, especially their main streets. Very, very quiet here, especially compared to New York. I mean, um, if I were on the opposite side of this river, on the Manhattan side, there'd be tons of people right now, but now it's kind of like I have all the space to myself. There's a much more um, 
like calmer feel to Jersey City than New York City. Oh no, no one told me there's gonna be stairs. And I gotta carry my bike. All right, let's see if I can do this. Made it down, although it didn't sound good. My bike's fine. I'll wait till the uh, waterfront area opens up a little bit before I show you the Manhattan skyline. James Parham saying the Statue of Liberty is actually in New Jersey. Yeah, there's a lot of debate about that. But in short, if you answer if the Statue of Liberty is in New Jersey or in New York, you'll both be correct. Because the Statue of Liberty, the land that it's on is New York, but it's surrounded by the waters of New Jersey. It's called an exclave. And there's several exclaves around the world. That one's one of the most famous ones. Like I think um, in Washington state, there's a place called Point Roberts. Point Roberts is an exclave of Washington state. And the only way to get to Point Roberts is to go through Canada to get to Point Roberts. You need to exit Washington state, drive through Canada, and then you could enter Washington state again. Jonathan Tan with Singapore, five bucks, stay safe, buddy. You're welcome. I will. I just hit the fence there by mistake. All right, this is where I was waiting for. I know, is that crazy? Look at this. Even the geese here are enjoying it. All right, let me continue on this uh, walk. The walkway goes out even further into the water over there. Bye bye geese. Glad asking if I could walk on water. I wish. Then I could have cut my trip in like three quarters. I could have just walked from over there. Christoph Tiello with five euro from Bavaria. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. Dwayne's saying one of your aunts has a home in Point Roberts is part of technically part of British Columbia, but it's part of Washington State. Yeah. There's a lot of exclaves like that. Another famous exclave is um I think there's an area in Spain, that's part of France. Or maybe it's the other way around. It was one of those like weird anomalies I saw one 
one day when I was looking up random YouTube videos. Vlad Popescu, that's right. Thanks for uh, clarifying that. It's called Andorra between Romania and France. There's also a weird anomaly between um, with Ellis Island between New York and New Jersey because Ellis Island, the way that works is the original land that was part of Ellis Island is part of New York and then the land that was landfilled and made to expand the island is part of New Jersey. So if you look at a Google Maps, you can see like a small circle of New York for an Ellis Island and then a big mass of land surrounding it with New Jersey. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Of course, the way to like administer that land is a nightmare for both states. So both states, they compromise and they just like split the tax revenue according to the percentage of like whatever land they own there. So at least they came to an agreement that way. I should walk by the Lowe's Jersey Theater right in Jersey City. I should look where that is. One thing I want to talk about this Hudson waterfront walkway here that I'm walking on. You're able to bike on here even though it's called a walkway, the pedestrians do have right of way though. And um, the walkway, there are plans to extend it all the way to the George Washington Bridge. It's not a continuous walkway, although I wish it was. The way it works with this walkway is New Jersey, New Jersey, they require the property owners who own properties along the waterfront to construct this walkway. And because it's all owned by different owners, the walkway is kind of inconsistent in its length and like its direction and materials. So you saw where I was on before was concrete and now I'm on wood. And over there, the walkway went that way and then it went that way. And then I turn over here and now I'm over here. It takes a lot longer to, to get from one place to another when the walkway like goes extended outward and then you have to make a right and come back in and then go out again. That's what's good about the New York side. The New York side, pretty much the Hudson River waterfront area is straight. It goes all the way up and down and you don't have to do any twists or turns. It's a great theory and practice, but it doesn't really work too well because it takes you like twice as long to get somewhere if you just stick to the waterfront. The theater is a few miles walk from here. Oh, if it's a few miles, then I probably won't be able to make it. Jonathan is asking if Jersey City has an actual subway. There is some, um, there are a couple of transportation options. You have the buses, you have the PATH train, which is owned by the Port Authority. The acronym stands for Port Authority Trans Hudson, but that only serves the, um, the main terminal at Newark, Hoboken, and Newport, and also Exchange Place and Journal Square. And then you also have the light rail, the light rail and also New Jersey Transit.
New Jersey Transit, the commuter rail, they'll go, that'll go like further distances. And the light rail will take you to some of the shorter areas. Uh, B. Griffin, the path does not go to Newark Airport. You do have to transfer at the Newark Terminal, unfortunately. Here we go. Oh yes, MJK Media, the Grove Street Path Station. I forgot about that one. Maybe I will make it to Grove Street if this live stream goes on long enough. Patrick sites with $4.99. Thank you so much for that. Appreciate it. I'm surprising myself with how much I know about Jersey City and New Jersey. And I'm not even a certified tour guide for New Jersey, only for New York City. Let's see what this warning says. All right. Sewage overflows. Contact with water may cause illness. Don't want to deal with sewage overflows. Also looks like it's a abandoned pier here. Outdoor dining here in this area. I heard some forks clanging and plates, plate sounding. John Navarro saying best pizza in New York City according to New York Times is on Grove Street, Raza. Hmm. I'm learning more about this now. I gotta. Now that you mention it, I kind of have to extend this live stream to Grove Street. I might as well go visit there. I've uh, ridden my bike so far already. I might as well just go a few couple of extra steps to get there. This building here reminds me of the Jenga building of. Uh, of Tribeca. Look at this outdoor area, folks. If you want to hang out outdoors and get some meals, come to Jersey City because here it's all legal. You don't got to wait for Monday. It's like people's lives are back to normal here. A lot of space here you can social distance have your meal and eat it in peace without having to you know not worry about table service or anything it's been such a long time since I was actually served by a waiter in a restaurant I'm gonna mute the video just for a little bit All right, let's go. Mary's asking how I'm doing. I'm doing wonderful today, thank you. And Karen uh, giving me $5, love my tours, thank you. Appreciate it very much, thank you. And Paul is saying life's not back to normal. COVID is spreading worse than ever. And um, 
B. Griffin watching King Cuomo make his demands on Action Kids previous video. Yep. It's unfortunate that there are cases that are spiking again. But we'll see what happens in the future. There's a light rail. I can go back on the waterfront again, but I'd rather go in here. Hello Green, we're $20, wow, thank you. Love walking with you every day, keep it up. Appreciate it, so nice, thank you. This is my first ever live stream in New Jersey. Up red light, which means that there might be a light rail train coming. I'll show you what a light rail looks like close up. I heard some ding dings. Might have to wait a while. Yeah, I'm not gonna wait. Basically, it is like a trolley, the light rail. Trolley, streetcar all the same I've never ridden this light rail before but um, I do know that it's based on an honor system you have to pay for the ticket you board and then if you get caught by an inspector not paying then you have to pay a fine and a pretty hefty one at that Let me see when the next light rail is. It says uh, four minutes. All right, so good thing I didn't wait then. I don't even know how much this light rail costs. Because it's public transportation and they want it to be accessible to everybody, I don't think it should be that expensive. Probably not more than like four bucks or so. That's my guess. I'm curious though. Let me um, go over here. Take a look at the prices. Watch for trains, no kidding. You know, New York City used to be a trolley city. There used to be a lot of trolleys and streetcars in New York City, including one over the famous Brooklyn Bridge. But of course, as the city developed, having streetcars in New York City was a major um, hindrance to its development. 
Okay, uh... Doesn't show any prices unless I, like, touch the console. So... I don't really know how much they are. Let me just touch the screen. I'm curious. Let's see. One way. $2.25. Okay. Zone one is $2.25. John Navarro with 1999. Thank you so much for that. Appreciate it very much. Um, I'm not sure which street I'm on right now, which stop, but I think it's all one price. Two twenty-five for that. Yeah, it is all one price. There's no way to change the uh, selection. Hey, we have uh, light rail trains two minutes away. We'll wait for one, why not? This is the first time you've seen the uh, New Jersey subway. Could you imagine having a streetcar system in the middle of Manhattan on like Broadway and Times Square? I don't think that streetcar will ever make it past traffic because it only goes on one rail. Up oh, here comes a street uh, streetcar now, light rail, light rail, streetcar, whatever, trolley. Ingo Pagels with two euro. Thank you so much. Here it comes, folks. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, ding. Oh, look, there's another ding, ding over there. We'll wait for this ding ding to, clue, uh, to leave. Ding ding ding. Let's go to the water side now. Sidewalk closed. Wow. Cafe Logos saying this part of Jersey looks like Dumbo. It kind of does, actually. It reminds me a lot of Manhattan, but without all the people. It's kind of freaky, to be honest. Then again, like the whole COVID-19 situation did empty out Manhattan for a long time. The life is slowly coming back to it. It's still kind of creepy there what this kind of reminds me now is like downtown Chicago and maybe if I were to compare an area of New York City like this during a normal time it would be Hudson Yards the Hudson Yards neighborhood there's nobody around unless it's like 
when the shopping mall is open. Wow, I should have listened to that sign saying the sidewalk's closed. Oh no! Gotta go back around. And look at that, we got another ding ding in the station. I gotta walk on the other side of the street. There's not too many people on this light rail. I'm looking at the windows. Rosalind likes how I call them ding dings. I mean, that's the sound they make, so that's what I like to call them. Well, that was a lot of unnecessary walking to go to a road that's closed. That's what I find that New Jersey needs to work on. When I was on the Hudson River waterfront walkway, a lot of the waterfront was closed off and I had to go off into the sidewalk and then come back again and come around. It was really annoying. There were, were really no signs that would tell me this uh, walkway would abruptly end. Jonathan asking if I'm familiar with any other cities in the country. I've been to main, uh, most of the major ones. I've been to DC, Boston, San Francisco, Denver, San Antonio. No, I didn't go to San Antonio. It was um, Dallas and Fort Worth. I've been to Chicago. I've been up to Portland, Maine down to Florida. Haven't really traveled too much since uh, COVID though, or even filmed anything besides like the New York City area. Cafe Logos asking if I was surprised with how small Portland, Maine was. I was. I was actually. My favorite city in the country besides New York. Hmm. I really have to think about that one. I haven't visited LA. LA I'd like to visit but the problem with LA is you kind of have to like travel by car everywhere to get where you need to go to get from the waterfront area to downtown it's really difficult thank you so much cooking with Joel with $2.99 and Ladang with $5 Australian me and my mate Louis De La Paz are watching you while eating our hangover food love you from Australia thank you Appreciate it. Have I been to Baltimore? I don't remember going there. Might have just driven by there.
in Seth's speech saying you have to develop strong calf mes muscles to go to San Francisco. Those hills are a killer. I think even the trolleys there have trouble climbing those hills. All right, finally I can go here. Finally. I can imagine cycling those hills. I think it will be pretty cool, right? I just need a bicycle with like the lowest gear possible. One thing I have to comment on, Jersey City does a good job with their bicycle lanes. There's not that much traffic here, so a lot of the bicycle lanes here actually work, and they work well. Vicky Dodson with $2, thank you so much. It's in New York City. Uh, it depends on the method of transportation you use. If you take the half train, which is right in front of me, you could be in New, New York City in as little as like five minutes. If you were to take the boat, maybe 10 minutes. If you have to wait for the boat to disembark, I guess. And then if you, if you ride a bicycle to New York City, like I did, it'll take three hours. And by car, maybe you have to take the tunnel from here and with traffic, maybe that'll take like half an hour. London strolling with 149 pounds, thank you. I think someone who lived here commented that Jersey City is not good for biking. Try biking on Tonell Street. I've only um, checked out this area. I'm just gauging Jersey City's bike lanes from the waterfront area. It seems pretty quiet here. But I guess when I go over to like the Grove Street area, which I'm planning to go to, we'll see um, how Jersey City actually is, the downtown area. So folks, this is the train station you have to go to in order to um, go to New York City from Exchange Place to the World Trade Center. Only one stop. hard to tell now because of what's going on with the COVID pandemic you really have to gauge and like watch the news to figure out like when all the attractions will be open again and when it might be a good time for you to visit right now I wouldn't recommend coming here until we get more clarity on what's going on if I had to make a best guess though most places will be open by October so I don't know if like that's a good reference but you can definitely try well there's more people down here B. Griffin is asking if the ferry terminal is nearby. I think that's the ferry terminal down there. The Exchange Place ferry terminal.
Oh, look at this. This is Pigeon Island. A lot of pigeons here hanging out. Also, ice cream truck. I think I'll skip the ice cream today. No ice cream, folks. Cafe Loja is asking if I've been to Mitsua Market. I was there in the parking lot today. I rode around it, but I didn't go inside. The line to get into Mitsua right now is pretty incredible. I filmed it. It went around the building and then around the back. So I don't know how long of a wait that is, but they're taking everything serious there. Yeah, it was. It was uh, pretty popular today. Maybe it's also because it's the weekend and people want to prepare. By the way, I want to show you this. This is a pretty cool thing here. Someone asked me if I did a... Uh, walk at ground zero live i'm not sure if i did or not all right let's check this out folks these two pieces here are september 11th 2001 memorials A lot of people don't realize this is here, but it's a very uh, fitting piece to commemorate those who have, you know, lost their lives in September 11, 2001. The Twin Towers. They even have the time there when the first tower was hit, 8.45 a.m. And also they have here a actual steel beams from the original Twin Towers at this location. And this one too. The construction worker with the World Trade Center dust and there's flowers all over it covered in gray, gray ash. Take a look at some of these artifacts too. Police department, paramedic. And here's the front with the steel. All right, folks. Let's go. I can't believe that whole event was 19 years ago now, 2001, and now it's 2020. Walker H. asking if I've been to the Twin Towers before it collapsed. Only underneath it. I was, I was never inside those buildings. I was inside the shopping mall though, but I was really too young to remember it. I remember that shopping mall underneath the Twin Towers was a really nice shopping mall too. Here's the ferry terminal, exchange place ferry terminal.
I remember a lot of people praising the Twin Towers for their restaurants, especially the one called the Windows of the World. It was really an experience there. Whenever I talk to people who've dined up there at the Windows of the World, it was such an amazing experience. You had a 360 view of the New York City area from the top there, dining in the clouds. It was like you were dining in the heavens, in the sky. It's it was really something and the service there was so good too. I wish that, you know, I was old enough to experience something like that back then. But now the, tw the two towers collapsed and now there's only one, the One World Trade Center. Here's a tower that I want to show you also. This one over here is the name of a very famous financial institution called the Goldman Sachs Tower. The very famous investment bank. I hope I'm not really like walking my way away from Grove Street now. Let me look at the map. I don't want to go too far away from Grove Street. Yeah, I'm not too far at all. It's still okay. I'll walk all the way to the end here. I'll show you another um, another landmark here that's visible from the Manhattan side that you may not be able to visit unless you come over here. That being the Colgate clock. Here it is folks. Fancy glass building for Goldman Sachs. Some of those investment bankers there are probably millionaires and their salaries are like six figures plus. Whenever you hear about like Wall Street bonuses and creative, um, creative like financial instruments, these are the people who design it. A lot of wind here. Miss Bill Mac with 20 bucks. Wow. Thank you. Love your videos. Your holiday videos were my tour guide on my holiday trip to New York City. Great tips. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm glad my videos helped you out with the trip there on your holiday. I hope you got a lot of information from like Rockefeller Center where everything is, the underground and navigating your way around that maze because it can get pretty busy there.
But yeah, my holiday videos were some of the most viewed videos on my channel. Martin Taylor with $1.99 saying I have terrible moderators. Well, not all of them have like the best actions, but for the most part, they do a good job keeping the, the chat clean. You know, it's really hard to moderate a chat when there's a lot of messages like this. So I understand and when they can make mistakes. I try to like, you know, have give each moderator the guidelines and to tell them what they need to do. But I can understand that a lot of people don't agree with them. But if we do have issues with a moderator, then you can always email me, let me know. But most of them, they're doing an awesome job. Here's the Colgate clock. Right now it is 5.15. 5.15. Five fifteen, and right now it's five seventeen. So this clock right now, what? Why did the minute hand move backwards? What is moving backwards again? Weird clock. It needs to be uh, adjusted two minutes ahead. You know what it is, folks? Maybe it's the clock that tells you um, you need to brush your teeth now because if you brush your teeth for two minutes, I think that's more than enough time. So it's a perfect advertisement for the toothpaste. It's accurate. so. Right now it says 5.15, it's actually 5.15. So you say, hey, okay, 5.15, let's brush your teeth. And then two minutes later, it'll be 5.17. So then the clock is accurate, right? All right, let's go to Grove Street now. One last look at the Manhattan skyline. Let me zoom in just a little bit. And I'll go very slowly so you can enjoy the skyline. And there is Midtown Manhattan. I have to zoom in just a little bit more to see it clearer. There it is. All right. Let's get going now. Hope you enjoy that panoramic view. I will take a picture for my own needs.
Okay, let's go to Grove Street now. This is where all the uh, action is, all the restaurants and the bars and where people hang out. I was here just a few times. There's the ding ding. Those light rails come pretty frequently within five minutes of each other. How many people did I see on the light rail? I'd say in that last one that I looked at, maximum was like 15 people on that entire light rail. Rock intensity, I should try going to top of the rock when it opens. I want to do Statue of Liberty more than top of the rock. I think Statue of Liberty is on my number one list right now. And I'm still waiting for Statue of Liberty to give me a refund for the tickets I booked in March and May. Letting me cross. Thank you, Barry Puppy Fat, for two pounds. Hi, it's Trisha for me, and DB Burns with two dollars. Thank you. Appreciate it very much. Incredible view here of the Goldman Sachs Tower. Uh, the PATH train is $2.75 and take a look at this beautiful glass building here. Jan is saying that's not a bad place, uh, bad price for the train. I mean, the cheapest transportation I ever took was the Mexico City subway, the Ciudad de Mexico Metro. That was only 30 cents. I think it was uh, 15 pesos, or was it five pesos for the Mexico City subway? That was a real, real bargain. Unbelievable. Bay of Alcatraz from Arizona. Love, uh, get a refreshment for two bucks. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Donnie's saying the Staten Island Ferry is the cheapest public transfer is for free. Right now, um, the New York City local buses are all free right now because they don't want to expose the drivers to COVID-19. So they're having people board the buses in the back and there's no fare box to collect payments.
Yeah, Janice, I was shocked when I saw the prices for Mexico City. Mexico City prices were insane. They were at least at least a half off from New York City prices. Every meal I had, every attraction was at least half price off or more compared to New York City standards. Take a look at this building up close now. It's, I have a feeling it's like different colors too. One side is blue and the other one's blue green on the right. All right, where's Grove Street? asking if Taiwan was cheaper. No, it was not cheaper than um, Mexico City. Mexico City was so affordable for a trip there compared to Taiwan. POV is asking how I would rate Taiwan's metro compared to Mexico City's metro. Um, Taiwan's metro is a lot more developed than Mexico City's, that's for sure. It's a lot more sophisticated. There's, um, there's Wi-Fi in the metro the entire way and I think it goes to more destinations. Is Grove Street the next block or maybe the block after that? I have a feeling. I have a feeling that it's close by. Michael's asking, where's everyone? I'm going to Grove Street. Grove Street is the hangout spot where people go. So I hope that it gets more crowded over there. Uh, Grove Street does go to the waterfront, but the main area where people refer to as Grove Street is further in. There's a lot of restaurants and bars on that whole one strip. It kind of reminds me of um, kind of like St. Mark's Place in the East Village where I was um, yesterday. But in Jersey City and a lot less crowded. But then again, we'll see if it's crowded today. Chris saying um, Grove Street's two blocks away. Okay.
I saw someone take a pizza to go. Alright, can't do anything now, so this is time for a water break. Because I'm thirsty and it's hot out. Ah. Always stay hydrated, folks. Very important now on a hot day. All right, I guess the walk signal is broken because there's no more don't walk signal and the walk sign's not on. Irene saying I look tired a little bit. I mean, I did bike down here and then I did a walking video. I will be taking the train back though. There's no way I'm going to be there's no way I'm going to be um riding my bike back all the way up to the George Washington Bridge on a single speed bicycle and then there's like insane hills going up. Last time I tried doing that, my my leg cramped up. And that's also on my channel somewhere. I walked on the sidewalk and then my leg cramped up. So I know I'm not doing that again unless I have like my other bike with me. This is only a one way trip. Yes, James, that's my plan, taking the path back. And then I will be um, either cycling back from Midtown or taking the subway. Depends how I feel. Chris mixed up Grove Street with another street. Maybe you thought about Grand Theft Auto San Andreas because there's a Grove Street in that game. New construction here in Jersey City. Look at this. That gigantic crane at the top there. This is Christopher Columbus Drive. I think I'm gonna make a right here. I think Grove Street's the next block over. This does look familiar though. I've been here before, but not too often that I know that um, I know all the streets by heart. Wait, that's not Grove Street, that's uh, Morgan. I'll look at my map again, just make sure I'm not going the wrong way. Oh, I see, okay. I gotta keep going. Because Grove Street doesn't go by the waterfront. That's where I was confused. I thought it did. But it's Christopher Columbus Drive that goes to the waterfront and then Grove Street starts in the middle of this. 
I remember now. Now, I don't know if this is gonna become a multi-story skyscraper, but right now there's only two levels here. Why am I waiting for this light? It's green light. Otherwise, I'll be looking at this unfinished skyscraper and then I miss my turn to cross the street. By the way, folks, historic downtown area. I just walked into it. Also more skyscrapers here. I'm saying it looks cleaner than New York City. Yep, a lot cleaner, a lot wider streets, a lot of um, outdoor dining areas. Seems Jersey City right now has a lot of things that New York City doesn't right now. Wow, look at this next block coming up. Look at how many people are on this sidewalk. I think we're headed the right way, folks. We're headed downtown Grove Street. Yeah, Jersey City is a huge city. That's why I um, label this walk, walking the Jersey City waterfront because there's still another huge part of Jersey City. The downtown area also. There's also a lot of um, neighborhoods there in Jersey City. There's a little Bangladesh and Indian neighborhood there. A lot of theaters, the Journal Square area in particular. Well, I can't believe I've walked for almost an hour and a half now. Um, POV is asking how much safer Jersey City is compared to New York. I think it really depends where in Jersey City. If you to come to this waterfront area, I don't really think there's too much crime. Just judging by how clean everything is and um, how few the number of people are. But if you were to move inward towards the more densely packed areas, areas like Newark, I think there's more crime in Newark.
All right, Marin Boulevard. Here's the Grove Street Path Station. I just walked one subway station from the water. Wow, another skyscraper going up there. Look at these. Mark Armstrong with 499 pounds. Loving all your streams, keeping us entertained during lockdown from Mark and Sharon Armstrong. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. Okay, Grove Point, cool. All right, here's Grove Street. I remember going on a date with somebody on Grove Street. I forget which restaurant it was that I went to, but it was a very good restaurant. I'll let you know if I see it. Whoa, there's a lot of people here on Grove Street today. All right, everyone asks where all the people are. Here we are, Grove Street. This is what you've all been waiting for. Bistro Jeffries outdoor dining. They roped off the interior. A lot of young people out here having a good time. Grove Corner Bar. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> that was funny. When can we cross the street? Let's go. A lot of friendly people here, as you can tell. Whenever there's alcohol involved, it may disrupt their influence. Remember folks, it's only 5.45 p.m. Brown uh, Roman nose, authentic Italian kitchen. Grove Street, Jersey City, all right. This is where it is. Outdoor dining. This is how it is now. Twi uh, two Boots Pizza is here.
so many people here. Wow, look at the Ashford. So many people here. This is what New York City might look like on Monday or maybe next weekend because there's no uh, weekend until Friday, Saturday. Outdoor dining, folks. But it's really only this one block that's a pedestrian mall. It continues, but it's not as much activity as back there. Black Lives Matter board in the front here. Some of these streets kind of remind me of Philadelphia, like South Street area. Look at these murals here, whoa. Long line here for milk and cream ice cream. I guess this is a uh, popular ice cream place. Cereal bar. Ice cream, cereal, and shakes, whoa. Sounds good to me, it also smells good. Here's Saigon Cafe, established 1999. Mixed drinks available. So folks, if you wanna see how New York City might be in the future, it may be a good idea to come over Jersey City. You'll see how things will look like when things enter the next phase. So Jersey City right now is on is on like New York City's phase two right now. I can't imagine every single restaurant doing this though. Having outdoor tables and no sidewalk space. I'm gonna walk back to the PATH train station now. Uh, yeah, I can bring my bike on the path. I just can't bring it in the front car of the train. Any other car, I can have my bicycle though. Those are the rules. 
All right, we're back onto the partying street. This is the happening street. Look at all these people. Thank you, Gary Rishi with $9.99. Appreciate it. You're enjoying my lunch, you know, eating dinner. By the way, folks, the restaurant where I had my date at when I came to Grove Street is this one. Grace O'Malley's. Great restaurant here, Grace O'Malley's. Their brunch was spot on. Amazing. Uh-oh, uh-oh. We got problems here. Pothole. Up, we're back to this location again. I'm gonna stay on this side of the street now. So this is the PATH train station, but I don't think I'm going to go down this way because the escalator is broken and there's a staircase here. No, it's uh, lagging because my battery is low. I got a low battery warning. But it's fine because I'm going to be ending the live stream soon anyway. Like in the next two, three minutes, it's not hitting, it's not, um, it's not worth hooking up an external battery pack just to go back to the station. Starbucks has some social distancing stickers waiting in line to go into the store. Terrence is only one block away. Wow. Half train station is here. 
hopefully I can uh, get my bicycle into the station easy. Hope there's an elevator. If not, I'm gonna have to carry it. Yeah, I gotta carry it. Let's do this. One hand. These are pretty short steps, so. Elevator, elevator, elevator. Uh-oh, I'm out of luck, folks. All right, I gotta use some muscle now. So, I'll see you all next time. Thanks for joining in, joining with me on this walk of Jersey City's waterfront. If you enjoyed it, be sure to uh, subscribe, like, and comment down below. I'll see you. Bye-bye.